What's going on you guys Clash with Dragon aka Dragon Warrior bringing you another brand new video on your favorite channel Those of Clash So let's get started with this video and this video will be about the War League guys That's right guys I'm gonna tell you in this video how you can win each wars in the War League tournament I will give you some tips tricks strategies that you guys can use and some tricks that you guys can use and you will be unbeatable in wars so first of all let me show you guys the last war we had we lost guys we lost and we lost by 12 stars as you guys can see the enemy pulled 33 stars and we got 21 stars and we lost by 12 stars so first of all guys I want to tell you one thing that this war league tournament does not hold any matchmaking system and it's kind of weird to get used to this because normal wars in normal wars when you do normal wars guys you do get good matchup the magic system is great in war wars in normal wars like like if you put in normal wars 3 tunnel 10 you will get paired up against 3 tunnel, tunnel 10 and even if you are unmatched, you you might get one extra town on ten or one extra town on eleven. So this is the matchmaking system which is there in the normal wars that you guys play. But in this war league tournament, guys, there is no matchmaking system. I mean, I thought that this is similar to the normal wars. So I put like one, two, three town on. 12 and I put 1, 2, 3, 4 tunnel 10 in war. So that means I had 7 tunnel 10 plus including tunnel 12 in the war. And rest were all tunnel 9 guys. As you guys can see, normal tunnel 9, I put like rushed bases, couple of rushed bases, you know, 3 tunnel 8 I put in this war and the whole matchmaking system is so ridiculous guys that the only way, the only trick that you guys can use to win every single war is that you put every single base in war as a tunnel. If you have tunnel 12, tunnel 11 or even tunnel 10, make sure to put all those tunnel 12, 11 and tunnel 10 in wars because that's the only way you can win wars guys. It's not based on the regular matchmaking system that we used to have, that we have in the normal wars. You know, you're gonna put Town on 9 in wars and for example, if the enemy has all the bases Town on 10 plus and if you put Town on 9, Town on 8 bases in war and you get hooked up with the enemy having more Town on 11, more Town on 10 and more Town on 12, there is no way that you guys can win the war. The matchmaking does not exist in this War League tournament. As you guys can see, that the enemy had one town on 12, two, three, four, five, five town on 12 players in their war while we had only three. And speaking about town on 11, they had one, two, three, four. Even number 12 was a town on. 12 I mean 4 tunnel 11 we got hooked up and you guys can see over here he is totally maxed out without the eagle artillery without the infernos but you guys can see he's he's totally maxed out on walls buildings and even his heroes are level 37 level 47 and even warren level 20 so this war league tournament in this war league tournament there will be no matchmaking system guys so the only way, the only tip I can give you guys, the only trick that you guys can use to win every single war in the war league tournament is to put as many max tunnel level that you guys can put, put that guys because there is no way you guys can win a war against a clan like this, like war match making is no longer there, you know, I didn't knew that. So I put like three normal players in war that we used to have in normal wars I put 3 town on 12 you know 4 5 town on 10 and rest town on 9 with couple of town on 8 that's that's the regular war 
players that I use in, in regular wars. But I didn't knew that the matchmaking will no longer be in existence in this War League tournament. And I got like 13 bases. We got like 12 bases out of 15 as a Town Hall 10, 11 and Town Hall 12. So how the hell are we gonna win the war if, if there is no war matchmaking system available in this War League tournament? I mean, we got hooked up against 12 Town Hall 10 plus players versus just seven Town Hall 10 plus players. And out of those seven Town Hall 10 plus players, we only had three Town Hall 12. Rest were all Town Hall 10 with semi-max bases. This is so ridiculous guys. I didn't even knew that this will gonna go like this. I thought like, you know, the matchmaking will be the same as in normal wars because they didn't even give us, give us any clue on that. So I just put normal players in war and I got, you know, messed up. I mean, I got like five town hall or 12 players versus three. I got like four town hall 11 versus no town hall 11 from my team. And I got like, you guys can see over here, I got like one, two, three, three town hall 10 players versus uh, uh, 10 players that I have. So war match making system in this war league tournaments. I mean, you're gonna go against seven clans, and out of seven, there is no place for war match making. So, the only trick and the only tip I can give you guys is start recruiting Town Hall 12 max players, even Town Hall 11, Town Hall 10. If you have a bunch of Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, and Town Hall 12 players, make sure that you guys give them a chance to play in this 15 versus you guys 15 have wars. as many town hall 12 in wars as many town hall 11 or as many town hall 10 in wars there is no place for town hall 9 in this war league system guys i mean if you are doing war league tournament the only way you guys can win is that you guys do not have any town hall 9 players because there is no war match making system in this so the only and the only best way that you guys can have high percentage to win a war in this league tournament is to put as many town on 12 and as many town on 11 and 10 players. That's the only way I can see to make it work to make my clan win wars. So that's why I put all the town on 10 that I have in my clan and my clan just have like 30 town on 10 players including town on 11 and 12. So I give every single stuff a chance to be in war the only two town on nine players that i have was me and jay easy and the only reason i put these two players in wars as a town on nine is because we just only have 13 town on 10 plus players rest are all town on nine and eight players in my clan so and and the reason why i put myself in the in the war and jay easy in the war because these two bases are the top town online bases in my clan at the moment. So that's why some staff were asking me like, you're saying that you gotta put every town on 10 plus players in war. So why the hell are you in the war? I mean, why the hell I'm in war is because I'm the top town on level player only in my clan. There is no max town on nine player in my clan. But we only had 13 players. That's why I put the 13 town on 10 players, all the players. And the rest two were the were the top town on nine players, so I put them up in, which was me and Jay Easy. So let's just be clear on that that I'm not like selfish or something like that. I can sacrifice myself to be out of wars if I have enough town on ten players available in the sport. As far as the War League tournament is concerned, the trick, the tip, or the strategies that you guys can use in this War League tournament is to put as many Town Hall 10, as many Town Hall 11, and as many Town Hall 12 in bars. This is the only way you guys can win these types of tournament. It's not for lower level Town Hall, not for Town Hall 9, not for Town Hall 8, unfortunately, because there is no matchmaking system, system as it is in normal wars. So the best trick you guys can use and the best tip I can give you guys is to put as many Town Hall 10 plus players in these types of leagues. I mean Town Hall 12, better. Don't have Town Hall 12, put Town Hall 11. 
if you don't have enough turn all 10 i mean turn all 11 and 12 players make sure that all the 15 players are turn all 10 then tip trick is to put as many high level turn all players in this war league tournament and also guys start recruiting more turn all 12 if you do not have plan make sure that you start recruiting high level turn all players because that's the only way you guys can win this these type of tournaments i, I mean the last war guys i mean we got we we kind of got trolled i mean i just had seven turn all 10 level players and i got like i mean 12 bases turn all 10 plus players including turn on 11 turn on 12 that doesn't even make sense but whatever this whole system of this the whole concept of tournament is that there is no war match making doesn't make sense but it's cool guys they are saying battle with seven different clans in this tournament reach to the top i mean how are we supposed to reach to the top when we do not even have a fair matchmaking system that's ridiculous guys i mean that doesn't even make sense how how are you gonna prove yourself that your clan is the best when there is no freaking matchmaking system i mean i mean we can be better we can be best we can be beast in war but if we are not hooked up against the same town on level opponent how are we gonna show them that we are the best the only way you guys can show that you are the best is that there is a fair war matchmaking system so that then that makes sense i mean that's how you can play fairly and i mean i don't know maybe in future they will change it but as for now that's the whole thing about this war league tournament is that there is no war matchmaking system in this and the only trick as many town or 10 players in wars as you guys can i mean town or 11 town or 10 or town or 12 even better put every single player who is town or 12 plus in wars and there is sadly there is no place for town or 9 and town or 8 in in these type of tournaments so that's the only trick i can give you guys is to put as many high level town or in this war league tournament to win because there is no freaking war matchmaking system in this so as you guys can see in the second war we are having currently i have i have put like three town on 12 in this and the rest i put town on 11 6 uh, from 4 to 6 are town on 11 and then from 7 to 13 base are all town all 10 so so now you guys can see we got like good match good match up in this the number three our number three player is a town hall 12 she got a town hall 11 so this war looks easy to win so i just told you guys the only trick you guys can use put more town hall high level players in war and win these kind of tournaments ridiculous war matching doesn't exist in this but whatever guys this is it i told you what tricks you guys can use if you want to win every single war in the war league tournament there is no war match making system so put as many town hall 10 level players in these type of tournaments start recruiting town hall 10 town hall 11 town hall and put them in these type of tournaments and win every single war so i hope you like this video guys if you do like this video you guys already know what to do hit that subscribe button Turn on your post notifications, hit that like button, and once you do those three things, all you guys have to do is comment below what you guys want to see in the next video. Have any ideas, share with me. I will definitely look into it and we'll definitely try to make videos on the new ideas that you guys can share. So share your views, share your ideas, comment nicely, and keep supporting this channel, Dose of Clash, where the grind don't stop. The donators keep donating and the warriors keep roaring. I'm out with this. Peace!